you'll find the LinkedIn Sales Navigator Analytics integration for Power BI on AppSource. When you find it, hit Get It Now and accept the agreement to start. You'll be taken to the Power BI portal to complete the process. The app can take a few moments to install, and when it's done, click Go to App to get started. You'll be able to either connect to your own data or explore the sample data before you do that. If we explore the sample data, a report will open showing the charts that are available and the analytics that you'll get for your own data. The sample data shows you the searches performed, profiles viewed, the number of saved leads, the emails and messages that were sent, and the number of connections that were made through LinkedIn Sales Navigator. You can also see a help screen overlay with more information about the charts and how to use the report. In the filter pane on the right hand side, you can change the date range that you want to view data for. And the tabs on the left hand side let you swap between more details about searches, in mails, and your social selling index. There's also links to the help page and where you can download the PBIX file if you want to mash this up with your own data. To stop using the sample data and connect your own, choose Edit App in the top right hand corner and then choose Connect Your Data. You can decide how many days of data to load. By default, we load 90 days, but you can do up to 365. You'll then need to sign into LinkedIn. Here, use the same email address that you'd use to sign in to LinkedIn Sales Navigator through the website. If you then go to the Datasets tab, you'll see that the data is refreshing, pulling in your own data. This can take a few minutes as well. You can also set up a scheduled refresh to keep your data up to date on a daily basis. Choose the dot 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 menu and choose settings for this data set. Then under scheduled refresh, choose to keep your data up to date and you can set the frequency that you want to do this. When the data is finished refreshing, go back to the report and you may need to hit F5 on your browser to refresh this with your own data. So now you can see the report's been updated with my own data running for that 180 days that I specified up to the present day.